Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now on question number nine from the June 2022 IAL Pure Mathematics P2 paper. And this question here is about looks like exponentials and logarithms. It says a scientist is using carbon-14 dating to de determine the age of some wooden items. The equation for carbon-14 dating an item is given by n equals k times lambda to the power of t, where n is the um, n grams is the amount of carbon-14 currently present in the item, and k was the initial amount of carbon-14 present in the item. T is the number of years since the item was made, and lambda is a constant with lambda between being between zero and one. So we got to sketch the graph of n against t for k equals one. So we have n equals, let me just uh, change the pen a bit. We have n equals k times lambda t. So if k equals 1, then we have n equals just lambda time, lambda to the power of t. Okay, so we got to sketch the graph of this for n against t. So it's like, you can think of it as like y equals some constant to the power of x of this form. These are the variables and that's a constant. Lambda is a constant. So it's, it's this kind of exponential graph. So if we draw an exponential graph, um, it's got n against t. Now t is time. Okay, t is time. So this can't go into the negative side, of course, because time can never get, can go back in time. So we'll have our, our y-axis, which is for n, and our x-axis, which is for t, which will only be in the positive side. Okay, so this is n and this is t. And you have t is the number of years since the item was made. Now, lambda is between 0 and 1. So lambda is, is basically a fraction. With, um, it's a fraction. So, for example, if I have um, y equals, supposing I had y equals, supposing it was a half. It's, it's less than 1 and greater than 0. So it's positive, but it's a fraction. So if I have y equals a half to the power of x, that will become y equals... 2 to the power of negative x because a half is 2 to the power of negative 1. So you end up with this type of um, scenario where the, you have a fraction. So normally an exponential graph will look like this. Okay, that's how it would look. Okay, um, it would look something like this, it would go like that. But because this is um, a, a negative power of x, it's reflection in the y axis. It's like f minus x. If you have y equals 2 to the power of x, will look like this. If you have y equals to the power of minus x, that is all the x values have changed their sign and the y values stay the same. So it's going to be like a reflection of the y axis, so it'll look like this. So this graph is actually going to go something like this. It's going to go like this. And this value here is going to be 1 because when lambda is 0, when um, lambda is 0, sorry, when time is 0, when time is 0, this is when time is 0, um, you're going to have lambda to the power of 0, which is 1. So when time is 0, n is going to be lambda to the power of 0, which is 1. So it's going to go through 0, 1, and it's going to have this type of shape. So that's the sketch of n against t. This is like a an exponential curve with a negative um, exponent um, like this. So it's, it's basically going to be, uh, you know, this, this is going to be like a, um, a fraction. So you end up with this as a negative exponent. So it's going to be like a decay curve. All right, so it's not going to be an exponential growth. It's exponential decay curve. So there's a sketch of n against t for this, this graph. And I think that's all they're looking for here. That's fine. t, n, I think you should put 0, 1, because we know that um, when k is 1, you get this as your equation. So t is 0, n is definitely equal to 1. OK, so there's the answer to part a. And now moving on to part b. It's given that it takes. 5,700 years for the amount of carbon-14 to reduce to half its value show that the value of the constant lambda is given by this value 0 0.999878 to six decimal places. Okay, so let's just get this part done. So it says here, we know n equals k times lambda to the power of t. Now, t here is the time it takes for it to reduce to half its value. So t is 5,700. Okay, t is the number of years since the item was made. That's 5,700. Okay, so um, this is... All right, so we don't have the initial value. 
we don't have the initial value which is k and we don't have the final value which is n we know lambda um, is what we have to find but how do we deal with these well i know that n is half of k n is half of what k was just say that's initial amount n is half of k okay because it says here that it takes this number of years 5700 years for the carbon to reduce to to half of its initial value so the initial value is n okay um and k sorry the initial value is k and n is the amount after that number of years so n is going to be half of what the initial value is k is the initial value so you can say we want it to become half of k so you have a half of k equals k times lambda to the power of t lambda to the power of t um, and of course the k's will cancel so you're left with lambda to the power of t equals a half so we know what t is t is 5700 so if I want to find lambda, I can simply take the the five thousand seven hundredth root of a half. Okay, so I can do that on the calculator pretty easily. You use this button with the square with the root sign with the block on the outside, and whatever root you want to take, which this case is five thousand seven hundred. Okay, and then this is going to be inside a half. And that should give us the answer that's required. And as we can see, that's exactly what we had to show. 0 0.999878, 0 0.999878. So we can be sure that we're correct. So it's equal to 0 0.9998784, 9998784. It continues on. So therefore, we can say lambda is equal to 0 0.999878 to six decimal places as required in the question okay as we can see we know that we did the right thing because the answer is as they showed right it's a bit of a strange type of thing to do to take the 5700 root of something but that's what was required to answer this question now for part c it says given that the item a is known to have had 15 grams of carbon 14 present initially that's k and is thought to be 3250 years old so that's t Calculate to three significant figures how much carbon-14 the equation predicts is currently in item A. So remember, lambda, we found lambda to be, that's a constant in this whole thing. Um, it was 0 0.999878. Okay, let's just confirm that because it's in my calculator. 999878. Okay, good. All right, now, it says, calculate to three significant figures how much carbon-14 the equation predicts is currently in item A. Okay, so we know we have to find n n is the amount that's currently in it we know that k is the initial amount which they told us is 15 grams we know that um, t is they told us 3250 years and we know that lambda as we just worked out and were told in the last question is 0 0.999878 so even if we couldn't work out what lambda was from part uh, b we can use that value in this question so this is a case another case of not having to rely on a previous answer in order to be able to solve a subsequent answer you don't just give up and leave a question because you can't do one part check if you have the enough enough information to answer the next part and save those marks okay so calculate to three significant figures how much carbon 14 the equation predicts is currently in item a so we've got to find n we know k is 15 we know lambda is 0 0.999878 and we know t is 3250. So just simply putting that into the calculator should give us the answer. So we have 15 times 0. Point, in fact, 15 times our last answer, which was this to the power of 3,250 and that will give us 10.103 10.103 dot 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 so we've got to give the answer to three significant figures therefore n is equal to 10.1 grams that's the number of grams that's presently in that item 
Okay, now for part D, it says item B is known to have initially had 25 grams of carbon for present. So, um, initially, okay, so that's K, 25 grams. But only 18 grams now remain, so that's N. That's how, how much current remains, so of course it's going down. Um, it says use algebra to calculate the age of item B to the nearest 100 years. So we, we need to find what T is. And of course we know lambda is 0 0.999878. Okay, so if we set up the equation, we have N equals K times lambda to the power of T. So N is 18, K is 25, lambda is 0 0.999878. And that's all to the power of t. So we have to solve this exponential equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 25. So we have 18 over 25 equals 0 0.999878 to the power of t. Now to solve this exponential equation, there's a few options. The easiest by far is to use log to the base of 0 0.998878, basically log to the base lambda. Okay, that will help us to solve this straight away. So if we have log to the base of lambda of 18 over 25, that's going to equal t. Simple as that. We could have taken log to the base of 10 or any other number that we wanted to and solved it, but that's the easiest way of doing it. So I've just written, instead of lambda, instead of 0 0.999878, I just wrote lambda here to make it easier. So now we can say t is equal to, and then all we have to do is stick that in our calculator. Let's go back to the previous answer that is what lambda is so I'm going to take log to the base of this so I'll say log to the base of the last answer because I just got that and pressed equals so that's now lambda in our calculator which is 0 0.999878 and this is um, the fraction 18 over 25 25 and that will give us the answer that's 2701.407 2,701.407 continues on like that. So they want to us to give the answer to the nearest 100 years. The nearest 100 years. So these are the 100, so it's going to be 2,000, 2,700 years. That's the answer to this question. Okay, pretty simple log question here, just in the context of this, uh, you know, this uh, exponential decay question. All right, so that answers question number nine. Um, not too difficult. Thank you for watching. Other questions from this particular paper, which is June 2022, of P2 can be found in the playlist, which will appear in this area over here. The link will, of it will be there. The link for um, this topic of logarithms and exponentials from P2 can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link in the middle. Thank you for watching. See you soon.